You ever wonder what's the best tool bag for a maintenance guy? I'm going to show you here shortly a few of my tool bags that I've had over the past few years and which one I think is going to be a better one. So stick around. We'll get started on that. So here I've got a few of my bags that I've used over the past few years. I've got a CLC bag here that's probably one of the most popular bags out there. Then I got the other version of the CLC here that's a little bit longer. Eh, this one is the one I'm having issues with right now. It's the one I'm using, but I'm not thrilled about it. A couple years ago I bought this. It's a Husky bag. It's the longer one of the two that um, are out there that are kind of easy to use. The problem with this is it's just a little bit too big. So what I want to do is show you another bag that I just got. And then I'm going to go over some features of some of these bags that are good and some that are not so good. Here's a Husky bag I just bought. Now what's nice about this bag, I really like it because it's, it's compact. It's almost as wide as the CLC bag. Actually, it's a little bit wider. This bag's a little bit wider than a CLC bag, and uh, it looks like it doesn't have quite as many pockets as what the CLC bag has, but the Husky has a lot more features that are they're pretty good features to have, like a good sturdy handle. As you can see on the CLC, it folds over, it's floppy. The ends of the handles start to get a little bit worn and tattered. Um, the CLC bag here, I'm going to set this to the side for a second. I'm going to show you something here. This is the bottom of the CLC bag. As you can see, there's no feet. There's no nothing for it to sit on. So you're sitting flat on the bottom of this bag. Usually on these things, on the corners of these bags, to give it some rigidity, there's some wire in here. And over time, that wire starts to come through onto the bottom. And then if you're putting this on a floor or on a countertop, if you move it around, if you slide it, well, that wire in there is going to scratch the floor, scratch whatever surface you've got on. That's not good. That's the problem I've had with the CLC bag over the years. That and this floppy handle is just it's it's not very cool it's not very nice to have it it, it kind of gets aggravating over a time so i retired this bag i said well you know i'm gonna get me a bigger bag so i bought the bigger clc and that's this one it's got a big huge container here in the middle it's got deep wells both sides but the problem with it is it leans over. There's no support on this bag. It's got these floppy handles that, you know, they don't really do anything, but the problem with this bag is that it leans. There's no support. All the support here is, it's just nothing there. So this was the last one I bought. Thought I'd be happy with it, and I'm not. Not happy at all. You can see I still have all my tools in there. So I'm going to be transferring everything out of this bag into another bag. But let me show you this other Husky bag that I used for a little while. This Husky bag, it's rigid. It's got nice pockets. The problem is it's not very many pockets. There are zero pockets on the inside. There's a few here on the back. There's a few on the side. There's a big one here on the side. It's got a good sturdy handle on it. It sits real nice. This is one thing I like. It's got feet. That when you set this down, you don't have to worry about scratching a floor or scratching the surface. It sets up on feet. The problem with this bag is that it's, it's big and it's bulky. It's got a very deep well in it but it's big and bulky and really doesn't have enough pockets for all the hand tools that I've got. So 
this other husky that I just bought, just got it in. Take a couple of these things out here. It's got quite a few number of more pockets on it. Double pocket on here on the side, a big pocket here, two pockets there. It's got a, on the side, it's got more side pockets. It's got a big pocket here. It's got two big zip pockets here. It's got some pockets inside. And it's got a big sturdy, heavy duty handle on it. And the best thing I like about it, it's got these four big feet on the bottom of it here that uh, it's gonna give it good stability. It's not gonna be scarring up any surfaces. So this is definitely probably the best way to go. It feels like there's some rigid cardboard or wood or something on the inside, on the other side of this canvas finish. Everything about it is just sturdy. So I'm gonna be transferring all my tools over to this one now and see how that works out. So that's that newest Husky that I just got. While I was there, I went ahead and picked up a few of these little small storage containers to go inside of that pouch. I got one here, it's about five bucks. This one's about four bucks. I want to try both of them out. This one looks a little bit sturdier. It's got a nice little gasket in here for waterproofing so that it's just going to stay dry on these damp days. The one thing that's going to be a little bit aggravating, I think, is these clasp. I don't think you need all of those on there, but some people might like that. So I bought this other one. It's a cheaper Husky. It's only got one clasp on it. It doesn't have that seal around it to keep things dry, but it does have these right now six compartments. You can slide these pieces out. So that's the difference in tool bags. When you're buying a tool bag for your maintenance job to keep all your tools, you want to make sure you've got something that's going to be sturdy. You want something that's going to last. You want something that you don't have to worry about it damaging any surfaces that you set this bag down on top of. Because the last thing you want to do is to go fix something and while you're there, mess something else up. So that's just my take on the tool bags. I've bought quite a few of them over the years and I've used quite a few. So, you know, it's one of those things that you're, you're always searching for the proper tool bag to keep all your tools in. So right now, I'm going with the Husky. I don't know if this thing's got a name brand on, or a, it's a style name on it. It's a 10 in all purpose tote with a rotating handle. Yeah, that handle does fold down so that you can get it out of the way of the deep well that's inside of there. Then it turns right back up for you to carry around with you. So yeah, also if you carry a tape measure, there's a spot right there for your tape. The CLCs always have a spot on the outside for your tape. It's nice that they put one on the inside here. At least you have somewhere to put your tape measure. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this bag up. When it's done, I'll come back to you, show you what it looks like loaded. And then we'll move on to another video that is something you'll wanna look for on my channel. Hey, if, if there's a bag that you're, if you have a preference of a tool bag that you like, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. I wanna hear from you. Go ahead, tell me, what's your favorite tool bag, your go-to tool bag in the maintenance industry of which one you'd like to use? All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna come right back to you as soon as I get this bag loaded up and show you what it looks like. All right, so I got my bag all loaded up and right off the bat, the first thing that I see that I'm not really thrilled about, but it's not a, a deal breaker is that I got nowhere to put my tape. Usually all these bags come with a little strap and a little hook that you can unhook, put this on and let it sag down on the side of the, of the tool bag. So I have to figure out what to do with that. I've loaded up the well and I actually don't need all of what I've got in there. The drill bits and the, and the these little bits, I don't think I'm gonna need to, to keep these in the bag because I've got those little containers that I showed you a little while ago that I want to fill up with all the one, all the stuff that was in that big container in my CLC bag. Uh, I want to 
fill those up and keep those in here. But I do like that I'm able to keep all my tools in here compact. That's a nice deal. I, I like that. I like this heavy duty handle and I like the feet on the bottom. The feet on the bottom, I think to me, makes a huge difference, huge difference. And not only that, this bag is just so much more sturdy. Now you can get a strap for this and you can use it to, you know, I don't know of anybody that really does that. Everybody I know would carry it in here. So other than that, I think this bag might do all right. So I'm gonna work with it for a couple of weeks. So we'll see how it does. I'm gonna be transporting it back and forth in my truck to work, from, my, from work to my truck to home. See how it holds up, see how it stands up. You know, I don't want it falling over. It seems to be pretty steady. Stop rocking camera, there you go. So, you know, we'll give it a shot. I think this is probably going to be the best bag for the buck. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. If this bag interests you in any kind of way, uh, the link in the description will bring you to where you can pick one up. Look, you're not obligated to buy it there. You can buy it wherever you want. If you buy it from my Amazon link, yeah, I make a few little pennies off of the sale. It doesn't affect the price of it. It's all the same price. So if you want to buy it there, that's fine. Hey, don't forget, leave me a comment in the comment section below, down there, and let me know what tool bag you like. And uh, maybe we'll start a little discussion on it, okay? Hey, us guys in the maintenance field need to help each other out. To me, this is going to be a pretty good bag to use. Uh, a little bit better than that CLC bag that doesn't have any feet on it. Uh, not really much support after you use it for a couple of weeks. We'll see what this one does, but... Uh, if my other Husky bag is any indication, I think this littler, smaller, compact one will probably do me a lot better. So in future videos sometime, I'll go back into it and I'll let you know how things are proceeding with this bag. Well guys, this is Dan with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon. Guys, this is Dan with Dan. Blah, blah, blah.